Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendai2K and this video is about templates and channel strips. <laughs> templates have just been discussed in my Discord community. Triggered by the clip to zero technique, which was presented in detail by Buffometrics years ago. The clip to zero technique follows a strict principle with which a track can be produced with extreme loudness. But where the advantages exist, there are also disadvantages, because the sounds and the arrangements have to be subordinate to this technique. Otherwise, you destroy or at least weaken the advantages of this technique. And that logical has a very big influence on the track, how you produce it, arrange it, and which sounds you process and how they can be used. You can find the link to Buffometrics Clip to Zero technique in the video description or here via the QR code. In any case, it is helpful to learn from such templates, but it is probably less helpful to use such templates as a standard templates in general. A nice and very elegant compromise is if you have understood the principle behind it and built yourself corresponding presets, containers, or channel strips. This gives you the freedom to work without a template, but with a function that a particular template or its technology or philosophy offers. Bitwig has this wonderful chain device. This is nothing more than a simple container device that can hold other devices and plugins. It has a mix knob and since version 5.2 of Bitwig, a learn function has been added to the wet gain knob, which increases a volume matching between the original sound and the effect sound, or does it pretty well in most cases. You can use this device to load all collections of several tools at once for all kinds of situations. In other words, a channel strip. And another big advantage of loading everything into one container is that you can simply toggle the container with all its devices and plugins off and on for an A-B comparison. Or use the wet dry knob to mix original sound and effect sound. Or deactivate individual devices or plugins. You could load a large number of deactivated devices and plugins into your channel strip because deactivated devices and plugins do not consume any CPU under Bindwick. However, the overview would then probably suffer. Very simple examples are analytics channel strip, oscilloscope, spectrum, Yulin loudness meter, parallel compression saturation channel strip, EQ compressor saturator EQ. Master Channel Strip, EQ, Mid-Side, Saturator, Compressor, EQ, Limiter, Orotone, Span, Yulin Loudness Meter. Or for your own personal effect chain, all devices and plugins that you don't want to forget, so you always remember everything. The possibilities are incredibly endless. You can adapt these channel strips more and more to your needs over time. And you can easily and quickly load these channel strips into any new or existing project or template. This is much more flexible than loading in the same fixed template over and over again and then having to make extensive changes. So, and that's it again. My name is Odo Zendaldukai. Thank you for your time and your attention. And I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.